down that main street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Take a left and do me tapping. Take your sense of my breath, Mars on the magic school bus. Alligator nostril, climb on the magic school bus. Spank a plane, turn two. Take that. On our magic school bus. Drop the river of lava. So strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on the magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, ride on the magic scuba. As we explore the age of the dinosaurs. Hey everyone, my name is Chris, and welcome to the Magic School Bus. So this is a game I grew up playing, and I absolutely love it. Um, to be safe, I think we're going to put on closed captioning just so we can all read things. Perfect. Um, yeah, so this is a point-and-click adventure. It's meant to be educational, but let's be honest here. If you're watching my channel, you're not looking for educational content. Hey, play with something. You never know what you'll find. I'm getting there, Tim. So... Welcome to my madness. Evolution is finest. And this paint at its finest. I like fezzes. Fezzes are cool. There's gotta be a joke in there. <laughs> I think my favorite part of this game has to be the same. Hey, play with something. You never know what you'll find. I am playing with things, Tim. So, when I was a kid, I was always under the oh, we're going through here. I was always under the impression that, uh, oh, we're not there. <laughs> Yeah, so I was always under the impression that April, that's the back of the dinosaur from March. And I think it is, but I don't have any way of being able to tell for sure. Oh, I don't know which of these lockers you think left. Sorry, sorry, go back to your side. she's seems mad. Don't forget to check out the other side of the classroom, too. Just click on Stevie's Stegosaurus, and he'll take you there. Yeah, no worries, Phoebe, we'll get there. This was always my favorite one, and I don't know why, for the doors. Sorry for awaking you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna... That's a thing that happened. Okay, DA, what have you got to say for yourself? Gosh, dinosaurs lived for at least 165 million years. Humans have only lived for about 1 million years. I've only lived 8 years. I feel so young. 
love how the post capturing just goes long before they finish talking. Some animals are carnivores. Carnivores are animals that eat meat and lots of it. Don't eat the egg. Only a few dinosaurs were carnivores, like this snake. I have a funny feeling that the frizz has a field trip up her sleeve. I wonder what happens when you play with multiple dialogue options. Oh, where, oh, where has my dinosaur gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With teeth so big and its tail so long. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Okay, cool. Sometimes my little brother acts like a monster, but it could be worse. He could be an Allosaurus. I have a funny feeling that the frizz has a field trip up her sleeve. Sure you do. Tell me about your uh, fossil there. Paleontologists are scientists who study fossils. Cool. Fossils are the bones, eggs, footprints, and other left-behind bits of an animal that died a long, long time ago. They're very fragile, and paleontologists have to be extra careful when they dig fossils up. It's true. Were you not done talking, Keish? Do you know how many paleontologists have seen a living dinosaur? None! Everything we know about dinosaurs comes from studying their fossils. And yet, some guys still thought it wise to tell us what a dinosaur sounds like, and we all believe Paleontologists are scientists who study fossils. That they are. I don't know if this is a repeated dialogue or not. Fossils are the bones, eggs, they footprints, are. and other left-behind bits of an animal that died a long, long time ago. They're very fragile, and paleontologists have to be extra careful when they dig fossils up. What else do you have to say about your snake egg? People usually eat plants and meat. This makes us omnivores. Why does DA's dialogue disappear long before she's done? Some animals after. are carnivores. Carnivores are animals that eat meat and lots of it. That sounds like repeated dialogue, but I don't know for sure. Only a few dinosaurs were carnivores, like this snake. Well, Snake, I guess you're going to be hanging out. According to my research, it's impossible to see a live dinosaur. But if anyone can find a way to do the impossible, it's the Frizz. Maybe I should write a book about Tyrannosaurus Rex. Live for at least 165 million years. Humans have only lived for about 1 million years. I've only lived 8 years. I feel so young. These kids are 8. I mean, 3 times their age. That's ridiculous. Okay, show me what you got, Carlos. Did someone say dinos? I'd love to draw a real live dino. Show me what you got, Tim. Jeez, I haven't even played Carlos first. My Aunt Dinah is pretty ancient. I wonder if Aunt Dinah saw a dinosaur. Tim, that would mean your Aunt Dinah's 65 million years old, at least. Fossils rock! Oh, that's a fun Did someone say dinos? I'd love to draw a real live dino. Show me what you got. Dinosaurs are an extinct group of reptiles that lived millions of years ago. Some were huge and some were small. But the main difference between dinosaurs and reptiles today is not their size, it's their legs. Reptiles today stand with their legs wide apart and bent like Liz here. They have to wiggle their bodies from side to side when they walk. Go on, Tim. You can't just give me one sentence at a time, buddy. Dinosaurs stood with their legs straight under their bodies like us. This helped them grow big and move fast and dominate the planet for millions of years. 
I assume a dog would be a closer comparison than us, since we're by people. Zegosaurus, Apatosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, these were all dinosaurs. But Pterodactylus, Plesiosaurus, and Dimetrodons were not dinosaurs, even though they are all prehistoric reptiles. Hmm. Okay, I actually did not realize that that was in this game. Cool. Dinosaurs are an oh, okay, extinct so. group of reptiles that lived millions of years ago. Some were huge, and some were small. But the main difference between dinosaurs and reptiles today is not their size, it's their legs. I wonder how that could be. Okay, Phoebe, stop. I wonder what kind of games dinosaurs played. Ancient ones. Nope, that, that Don't worry, right. Mr. Rabbit. I won't let anyone pull you out of a hat. <laughs> Did you take a look at Arnold's model of time? It's on the other side of the classroom. We'll get there, Phoebe. Stop trying to push us. I wonder what kind of games dinosaurs played. I think you said that already. Many animals are herbivores, like this rabbit. That means they mainly eat plants like grass, leaves, or fruit. That's just have to that balance between you and DNA. Most dinosaurs were herbivores, like this rabbit. Yep. We can tell what a dinosaur ate by looking at the fossils of its teeth. I could be wrong about this, but I believe that a while back, they also found the contents of a dinosaur's stomach fossilized, which was incredibly helpful and very groundbreaking, if you'll pardon my pun. <laughs> Many animals are herbivores, like this rabbit. That means they mainly eat plants like grass, leaves, or fruit. This is true. Okay, we're going to the other side of the classroom. Bye. Good morning, class. Today we're not just going somewhere, we're going some when. Back to the age of the dinosaurs. Just click on the bus when you're ready to go. To see pictures from my last trip through time, just click on the photo album. This being the photo album, Miss Frizzle? This is my photo album from my last journey to the age of dinosaurs. Ah, oh, Liz and I were taking pictures of plant-eating dinosaurs. Oh dear, one of my photos is gone, and I need your help to replace it. Just click on the red crystals to hear about the missing animal. Then, click the X to close this album and start exploring. When you think you've found my missing creature, click on the camera and take its picture. This dinosaur's name means three-horned face. Look out for him. He takes a lovely photo. This herbivore used its horns to defend itself and to battle other males of its kind for mates. Last I saw this Ceratopsian, he was taking center stage in Cretaceous Alberta. I enjoy the sheer irony of the fact that the first photo we have to find is here in Canada. Love it. Uh, but yeah, so this is the quest for this, uh, for this point and click adventure. We have to fill up Miss Frizzle's, um, photo album, I guess you'd call it. Um, I believe there's herbivores and carnivores and possibly omnivores, but I don't know for sure. Either way, once we go through this adventure, I'll uh, show you what the other photo album looks like and where to find those guys. This Ankylosaurus didn't need to join any clubs in Cretaceous North America. He had a club all his own. <laughs> this Ankylosaurus didn't need to join any clubs in Cretaceous North America. He had a club all his own. Oh my goodness. That armor-plated skin made Nodosaurus one tough meal for any Cretaceous predator. See you again soon! Well, we will find your Ceratopsy for you, Miss Frizzle. But first, 
first. We're gonna play with literally everything. Here, so talk to literally everyone. It wouldn't hurt to explore a little, you know. I'm exploring, Ralphie. I'm exploring all the things. Like that. Oh, uh, that. insurance, I guess. Um, yeah, this, this size of the room is a little more... a little less click on random things, and a little more... Don't forget to make time to look at the time model that Arnold made. It'll tell you all about the history of prehistoric Earth. It's a little more, uh... A little more education heavy than it is. Do random things. So, let's start with you, Wanda. Today, time in backwards traveling, where that say Frizz the dead? Did the Frizz say that? If Frizz has a descendant of dinosaurs, my favorite dinosaur is the Robin. I wonder if I could ride a Triceratops. Maybe one. Today, time in backwards traveling, where that say Frizz the dead? Did the first say that we're traveling backwards in time today? Yes, she did. Are dinosaurs still alive? Some scientists think birds are dinosaurs. So, in a certain way, dinosaurs are still with us. So, uh, if I can get a, a little existential nihilism going here, that's a good way of saying, like, you're... And relatives never leave you. Paleontologists think that birds evolved from a small meat eating dinosaur like Compsognathus. What? If this is true, then dinosaurs didn't really go extinct, and we see their descendants all the time. Only we call them birds. Are dinosaurs still alive? Some scientists think birds are dinosaurs. So. Remember, the bus is ready to go when you are. Just click on it when you want to start our adventure. There we go. Dinosaurs are a tip-top tour. Just click on my photo album if you want to see some of my favorite dinosaurs. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Rizzo. We'll get, we'll get in that bus soon. Remember, the bus is ready to go when you are. Just click on it when you want to start our adventure. Okay. I don't know what to click, Ralphie. This is just make-believe. Dinosaurs were dead for more than 60 million years before the first people appeared on Earth. The word dinosaur means terrible lizard, but I don't see what's so terrible about them. If I were a dinosaur, I would walk around roaring like this. Rawr! Ralphie, it goes like this. Oh, just... yeah. Weak roar. Yeah, weak roar. Oh boy. Fossils have been found in every part of the world, even Antarctica. I think those are alien fossils. Whatever, just don't tell uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger or the Predator. Some very important finds have been made by people who were just out for a walk, but had their eyes peeled for fossils. Like Miss Frizzle says, you never know what you'll find if you look. Do you have a good pun for me, Carlos? Some of the first fossils ever discovered were found by kids just a little older than me. So nine or ten? Go if on. you find a fossil, you should take it to a museum so we can all learn more about the prehistoric world. Fossils have been found in every part of the world, even Antarctica. Yeah, that 
was definitely getting through dialogue. Why did the dinosaur throw a clock out the window? He wanted to see time fly! There's the pun. Carlos! <laughs> Carlos! Carlos! So much better when they do it in unison on the TV show. Dinosaurs are huge and scary! This is one trip where I'm staying in the bus. I highly doubt that. Mary had a dinosaur that thought it was a cat. It jumped up on the roof one day and crushed her building flat. <laughs> Why did the dinosaur throw a clock out the window? He wanted to see time fly. Whew. Carlos! 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 I'm keeping a lookout for dinosaurs. In 1990 something? Everyone says the big scary dinosaurs have been extinct for 65 million years, but I don't want one sneaking up on me. Sixty-five million years ago? I wonder if that's older than my grandparents. I'm sure your grandparents would love to hear that, Arnold. <laughs> okay, so we have two thing more things we can interact in here within here. So let's go up here. This is what the Earth looks like today. This is what the Earth looked like in the late Triassic period. 220 million years ago, the huge landmass is called Pangaea. Yeah, it didn't actually look like that, though. This is what the Earth looked like in the late Jurassic period, 150 million years ago. That it did. This is what the Earth looked like in the late Cretaceous period, 70 million years ago. This is what the Earth looks like today. North and South America are still moving away from Europe and Africa. The Atlantic Ocean is slowly getting bigger, while the Pacific is shrinking just a little bit each year. I somehow have a feeling that this isn't actually what it looks like these days. Maybe back in the 90s for an animated kids show, but... For Mapomatic, this is Arnold saying, I hope you'll be back soon. The Mesozoic Era is called the Age of the Dinosaurs because dinosaurs and other reptiles were the major life form at the time. The Cenozoic Era is called the Age of Mammals because today mammals like us are the major form of life on Earth. The Triassic period lasted from 250 million years ago until 202 million years ago. Counting backwards, that's 48 million years! Wow! The Jurassic period lasted from 202 million years ago until 144 million years ago. That's 58 million years. Or more if you consider the fact that Jurassic World is coming up with its second installment soon. Well, it might actually be out now. The Cretaceous period lasted from 144 million years ago until 65 million years ago. That's 79 million years! How did you click these things? There weren't very many dinosaurs in the Triassic period, but there were a bunch of other reptiles! dinosaurs lived during the Jurassic period. The first bird appeared in the Jurassic period. It's called Archaeopteryx.
The first flowers appear during the Cretaceous period. By the end of the Cretaceous period, the dinosaurs, marine reptiles, and flying reptiles were all extinct. That's going to do it for today, guys, and we'll see you on the next episode when we go to the bus. Until next time, I've been Chris. Thanks for watching.